Every day here in the office, I meet with and listen to patients who are considering having cataract or premium lens replacement surgery, and I learn what their concerns are. So let me address the top 10 myths or FUD, also known as fear, uncertainty, and doubt surrounding cataract and premium lens replacement surgery and premium lens replacement implants. Myth number one, multifocal lens implants guarantee perfect vision without glasses. There is no perfect lens implant, period. The best lens is the lens God gave you when you were in your mid-20s. Bullet point number two, let's hear from Elon. Like physics is the law, everything else is a recommendation. <laughs> I've seen plenty of people break the, break the laws made by man, but none break the laws made by physics. Multifocal lenses split and divide light that travels through the lens to deliver improved range of vision near, mid, and far without glasses. When light is split, there are going to be trade-offs and compromises. So when 100% of the light enters into the lens and it's split and divided before the image hits the retina, there are going to be trade-offs and compromises. Our goal is to make sure that the performance of the premium IOL that you receive exceeds the performance of the natural aging lens inside your eye. Some people will still need to use some glasses some of the time for some occasions. The goal is greatly reduced reliance on glasses and the ability to function most of the time without relying on glasses. Each lens implant has some side effects, but there are also side effects and issues with our natural human lenses that occur inevitably as we age into our 40s and beyond. Myth number two, cataract surgery is risky and you can go blind from it. Well, the actual risk of severe vision loss or blindness from cataract surgery or lens replacement surgery is about one in every 5,000. So if that risk is too high, then you don't have to have cataract or lens replacement surgery. But as we age, our vision will inevitably decline due to the development of age-related cataracts. So the risks of poor vision, which limits your ability to experience life to the fullest, grow as you age and your cataracts continue to develop. So at some point in life, the risk, which is low, will be far outweighed by the benefits of having cataract or lens replacement surgery. Myth number three, you can prevent cataracts or you can treat them without surgery with eye drops or diet modification or adjustments to your lifestyle. Well, those are all false. First of all, there are no eye drops and there's no diet modification that will prevent you from developing cataracts. We all develop cataracts unavoidably as part of the normal aging process. In fact, I go so far as to say that if you're fortunate enough to live to the age of 75 or beyond, you have developed visually significant cataracts and will have already undergone cataract surgery. Or if you choose to not have cataract surgery, it's because you're not that bothered with your vision, you've acclimated to slightly blurry vision through your cataracts, or you don't want to undergo the surgery and take the risk of cataract surgery to improve your vision. The reality is, is that gray hair, wrinkles, and cataracts are unavoidable and inevitable changes that occur to every human if we are lucky enough to live to the age of 75 or beyond. Myth number four, multifocal lenses cause a lot of side effects. All multifocal lenses create a halo effect that can be seen at night around lights due to the design of the implant. It has rings in it. And these rings give you the ability to focus clearly without glasses near, mid, and far. But the trade-off is you'll see a little halo effect around lights at night. What percent of patients with a multifocal lens 
are intolerant of the halo effect seen through these lens implants. About 98% of patients do well with multifocal lens implants. They'll see a halo, but it's tolerable. About 1% to 2% of patients with multifocal lenses, in my experience, are intolerant of their night vision or quality of vision with these implants, and they choose to have their multifocal lens removed and replaced with either a monofocal or extended depth of focus lens implant, which will create better image quality, but will also decrease the range of vision and increase that individual's reliance on glasses to see near, mid, and far. Myth number five, if you've had LASIK or radial keratotomy, then you cannot have a premium lens implant. That's completely not true. We analyze the structures of your eye before surgery to determine the likelihood of a successful result if you choose to have a premium lens implant so you can increase and expand your range of focus without having to rely on glasses. About one in every three patients that we place a multifocal lens into have had prior LASIK surgery. And a significant percentage of patients who've had radial keratotomy, we use a lens called the Symphony lens, which is an extended depth of focus lens implant that helps those individuals see great near, mid, and far with minimal use of glasses after their surgery. So patients that have had radial keratotomy and LASIK they actually do great with multifocal lenses or extended depth of focus lens implants. Myth number six, if you have concurrent medical conditions that involve your optic nerve, your retina, or your cornea, then you are not a suitable candidate to receive a premium lens implant. We place a lot of multifocal and premium lens implants in the patients with macular degeneration, epiretinal membranes, mild dry eye, corneal endothelial problems, early mild glaucoma, and they do great. But we advise each of these patients that their final vision with their lens implant after cataract or lens replacement surgery will be potentially limited by the underlying and concurrent structural abnormalities that remain after their surgery. So for example, let's say a person has a cataract or they're very reliant on glasses and they simply want to see their best without glasses and they have a concurrent underlying retina or cornea problem. And let's say that 90% of their blur is from either their cataract or their reliance on glasses and 10% of their blur is from their cornea or their retina problem, then we'll advise that individual, hey, we could still make your vision better with a premium lens implant, but you will not see 100% perfectly because we can only fix 90% of the problem. 10% of your final vision will be limited because you have a concurrent retina or cornea or optic nerve problem, for example, that will prevent you from seeing your very best. But similarly, if you have a monofocal lens implant, you will still not see perfectly with a monofocal lens implant because those concurrent structural eye problems will still limit your vision even if you have a monofocal lens implant. So our goal is to manage expectations after examining your eye thoroughly and explaining what your most likely visual outcome will be. And we'll simply offer a range of options and let you decide which option is going to help you see your best in the way that you want. Myth number seven, you should not have a premium lens implant until you have or have developed a visually significant cataract. Well. In our practice, we have performed what we call refractive lens exchange or premium lens replacement, which is basically cataract surgery performed at a younger age for people who have not yet developed a visually significant cataract, 
but want to optimize their vision so they're the least reliant on glasses and contact lenses to see clearly. These patients represent about one third of the cataract and lens replacement procedure population that we treat annually. So one third of our patients don't need this type of surgery, but they choose to have lens replacement surgery on an elective basis to improve their quality of life and minimize their reliance on glasses. This one third of patients does not have a visually significant cataract. Myth number eight, we need to use the laser to help you achieve the most precise, accurate, and safe results and get the best result with your cataract or lens replacement surgery. Which was in essence a sophisticated heat beam which we called a laser. Using these lasers. We used the femtosecond laser for cataract and lens replacement surgery from 2012 until 2021. And in my opinion, it makes the average cataract or lens replacement surgeon marginally better. But for a excellent surgeon with excellent skills and clinical and surgical judgment, the femtosecond laser requires more time to do the surgery, increases the risk of complications and the side effects. It does not make the cataract surgery safer. We stopped using the femtosecond laser for cataract surgery in 2021. And since that time, we found that our complication rate went down and our efficiency went up. An excellent surgeon with great hands, great skill, and great judgment will outperform a excellent surgeon who uses a femtosecond laser for cataract surgery. Myth number nine. If you're unhappy with the implant that you happen to receive, then it is dangerous to remove and replace it. What I found is that over 90% of the time, if you are unhappy or have experienced a complication with a lens implant, then it is safe and effective to undergo intraocular lens exchange to remove that implant and replace it with a different implant. And this can be done weeks, months, or years after receiving that first implant. That's just been my personal experience. Now we only recommend that you have intraocular lens exchange if we examine your eyes and after speaking with you, believe that the benefits of performing intraocular lens exchange outweigh the potential risks and side effects. These are typically very long conversations between you and me, and we manage expectations on the front end. If we don't feel like the risks or complications or the visual outcome with intraocular lens exchange will really help you or it's in your best interest, then we will recommend against performing intraocular lens exchange for you. When it comes to cost, if we remove a lens implant and replace it with a basic monofocal implant, that surgery is typically billable through your medical insurance. On the other hand, if we remove your lens implant and replace it with a premium lens implant, then that service is typically paid for by you, the patient, out of pocket, and it is not billable to your medical insurance. And finally, myth number 10. Cataract surgery recovery takes a long time. In my experience, most patients can get back to a normal routine within one day after their surgery. And probably 99% of patients see significant visual improvement within one week after their surgery. The reality is most patients can get back to doing a normal schedule the day after surgery and they will see better within one to two days after undergoing their cataract or lens replacement surgery. So that's it folks. That's the top 10 myths or FUD surrounding cataract or premium lens replacement surgery. I hope this information was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.